Hello everyone and welcome uh, to the first part of the review for the Up Air One Plus. Uh, I must uh, first tell you that there are several models of uh, this quadcopter and uh, uh, they differ by the camera which has different uh, resolutions. Uh, this is the 4K uh, version. Uh, I'm going actually to test if it's real 4K or not. But uh, nonetheless there are other differences. Uh, there is an analogical uh, drone which uses conventional 5.8 uh, GHz FPV and this is the digital version which uses a kind of Wi-Fi FPV but with long range so this is kind of similar with the technology used on uh, drones like uh, DJI I'm not going to say DJI but something similar so this thing has good range and good video uh, transmission quality as it's uh, HD and uh, digital so uh, let's uh, move on uh, further from the box you won't get uh, any kind of information about uh, the things I have told you it's only graphic it's only shows us some pictures of it and that's all you get auto return accurate positioning auto balance and that's it so uh, we do get a 4k here but nothing more than that so let's take it out of the box and let's see what else we get inside besides the quadcopter and we get a huge uh, warning caution and there are some informations about it check the number of satellites in FPV screen you should fly with seven or more satellites you have OSD you should check flying altitude before launch and so on you should check propellers uh, here is written that this product uses analog image transmission therefore it could be disturbed by the environment humidity noise and electricity well this is the digital version it's not the analog image transmission version it has automatic return and so and we also get a checklist and you can see it's all in here because it's in Chinese so we did understand all of that um, we also get manuals in Chinese and English let's see actually there are two things inside so let's take a quick look this is the user manual here and it shows us how to operate the drone it also shows us the application which should work on the mobile and looking at it it looks familiar it looks like the DJI uh, version of uh, application so it's kind of a let's call it copy and not going to call it clone it has waypoints and things like that so we also get here a quick manual user guide which shows us how to connect the camera because it uses Wi-Fi, how to arm the motors and so on probably the same thing is in Chinese and inside the box we have the quadcopter itself so it comes with this kind of transmitter two large antennas it has here a wheel it's it goes from minimum to maximum it's not the uh, same wheel that you get on DJI it has two push buttons here we have this three position switch here two position switch here the usual sticks and this mobile phone support which is made from metal and it will hold your mobile phone like that which is very nice and useful and I like the fact that it's made from metal uh, so that should be uh, rather sturdy it also has a USB port this may be used for powering up your mobile phone we'll see about that and inside 
let's see what we get inside we get a battery already installed it's a lipo battery and it's a three cell battery which has a charge plug and a discharge plug it uses a JST connector which is nice because you can uh, charge this with almost any kind of hobby grade charger and this is the power switch which turns on the transmitter so I'm going to shut it off for now let's see what else we get in the box so there is the quad capter and the charger this uh, uses a kind of smart battery and the propellers which are uh, exactly the same one used on the Phantom 3 uh, they are uh, uh, 9450 uh, propellers so you can use GI propellers uh, these are not labeled with J on them and it's very funny that here it says self tightening glass fiber reinforced white without logo so probably they are referring that they didn't bother putting the DJI logo on them like some of uh, the other producers are doing and also get this cable here for uh, powering up the adapter and charging the battery moving on to the quad copter it has this protective foam here around the gimbal and there it goes this is the camera here uh, it comes with a silicon rubber cap which is very nice and it supports here a micro USB port and a micro SD card for storing the video it has a two axis gimbal on the legs you get the regular antennas and compass and this is the smart battery which looks similar with DJI batteries and works similar with DJI batteries so it has an internal balancing circuit it has a regular LiPo battery but it's connected to that electronics and you can check its level also you can power it or turn it off from the same button here then inside you get a lot of space uh, the good thing about this battery is the fact that it's not so smart like the DJI batteries you can power the drone by using these two pins here and it will work normally without any kind of issues but you need to be sure that it has a good contact so I'm going to power on the transmitter first transmitter is on and now I'm going to power on the quadcopter short press and long press power button and it's now working let's see uh, if I can connect to the drone so I should see here a new uh, wireless network okay, I'm going to click on refresh and wait for it and there it is upper um, network and uh, now there is a special moment uh, which I want to share with you uh, as you can see when you try to connect to the drone with the mobile phone it asks for a password well uh, I must say that there is absolutely no password in uh, this manual which shows how to connect to the Wi-Fi there's no password in the larger manual here so uh, it's really a problem uh, there's no password you cannot connect and cannot use this uh, drone but uh, I have uh, looked and searched a lot for that and it's 1234 and 1234 just like that there's the password and you click on connect and now it will uh, successfully connect to the drone and now if I open the upper application and I click on enter camera view I already have 
uh, image here from the drone and it's working rather fine as you can see and uh, it's interesting uh, that uh, it really seems to have um, um, a very good response time it doesn't uh, seem to be uh, laggy or uh, to do things like uh, uh, breaking up the image or things like that it's really working fine which is surprising for a, a very cheap quadcopter and uh, this is digital video which is very nice so let's take a quick look into the application so we have a settings here we have um, let's see if I'm on full screen brightness yes I am so you have units which can be uh, imperial or metric you can calibrate the compass level calibrate camera settings you can select resolution it's on 4k 30 frames per second you have photo options resolution all right then controller settings code matching and wifi password so you can change the password now but only if you know it so what else we get here we get indication that we are connected we have the height i think this is the uh, absolute height the distance signal strength and battery level and the mode it's in so now it's in altitude mode altitude hold position hold and the third position doesn't seem to do anything the other switch here should be returned to home but it cannot return to home as i am playing it it also has auto takeoff and automatic return to home uh, buttons here and the red dot here it's the angle at which the gimbal is oriented it's the pitch angle of the gimbal so let's see if i can arm the motors yes the motors will arm and disarm successfully so it seems that the quadcopter is able to uh, do its first uh, test flight hopefully soon uh, I must also tell you that this uh, quadcopter has a specific design it uses a kind of a u-shape uh, arms and uh, the motors are angled some, uh, something like that uh, this uh, provides a lot more stability to the quadcopter and uh, makes it uh, more uh, uh, smooth when it flies so this uh, kind of tends to increase the position uh, hold smoothness so you should get uh, better video results with it this is also specific uh, with DJI drones so DJI also uses uh, motors that are not perpendicular to the airframe they are slightly angled outwards or inwards uh, this thing does slightly decrease the flight time but uh, increases uh, its stability a lot more so it's uh, more uh, good than bad so this is the new 4k digital version of the upper one uh, I must also tell you now that uh, this thing uses uh, a redesigned uh, uh, control board so uh, you shouldn't uh, have the same issues that uh, the previous model uh, had so I really have uh, high expectations uh, about it and hopefully it will uh, do uh, great in uh, its uh, test flight so now I'm going to power it off it powers off by a quick, a quick tap and another long tap on the battery and it's now off and I'm also going to shut down the application and the transmitter from the switch underneath it so that's it very easy to operate very easy to transport the only thing I need to do is to adjust this uh, arm here because it's very stiff and I think I'm going to break something from the transmitter if I keep forcing it like that so I'm just going to 
loosen uh, this screw just a bit because it's way too uh, hard to uh, adjust so with uh, that I'm going to uh, end this uh, first part of the review prepare the drone charge up the batteries and uh, uh, soon take it for a test flight until then bye bye